Sterling, you want to tell everyone happy Vlogtober? Day 13? It's Friday the 13th. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah? Silly girl. Hey y'all, it's your girl Stace in the place and I'm back. And for the answer that everyone was wondering of which crazy little dog loves to put on clothes and gets jealous if someone else has their new outfit on before them, it is none other than little Tuxie. Um, Tuxie for some reason, Tuxie, can you see him? No? Okay. For some reason, like, Tux will cry, he'll whine, like, he will get upset if the girls um, get a new outfit on or, like, if they're all getting clothes on and, like, them two get theirs on first and he doesn't. He's like, mm. yeah, that's you. That's what you sound like. Yeah, you love wearing new clothes. See, I'm like, my mama, I love new clothes. Aww. So sweet, bud. Um, well, today we are going to do some Kendall Chronicles. Um, I'm thinking, so I have five um, crates over here. Um, yeah, you like my fingernails? I like them too. Aren't they cool? The candy corn, baby. Um, <laughs> when we go through these five crates, we, I don't know, y'all. Like today, I'm thinking... Hmm, I really need to um, get this room together and <laughs> move around this stuff that we have down here in the basement. So you may see another video. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, we need to get the groove in and get the move in. Um, also, hopefully you can see Crazy Winnie back there. See, she's dangerous. She, she cannot be trusted. All right, Starla Burley. I'm gonna let you down, boo. Okay, Tuxie. Um, Tuxi, I don't know what's going on with him. Um, been eating. We went back to our regular food yesterday, and this morning we, you know, I mean, yesterday he seemed fine going out, and then this morning he had an accident. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the chair stays safe. Um, I guess Winnie's gonna protect the chair for us, but let's get into these candles. So, Let's see here. Um, I'm gonna get out our two little crates. Hopefully, not blocking the crew. Am I blocking you guys? I hope not. Let's see. Um, <laughs> so, let me actually put this back up here. Okay, so we've got our um, backup pile and collection shelf. So, oh, I think this one's gonna be a good one. <gasps> Ice Vanilla Woods. Mm, an absolute dream. Honestly, I feel like we've seen this one. But it just smell. Wow. Really, Winnie? Winnie? Winnie's a trip. Um, It just smells woody. But it's not too much. The vanilla, like, pulls it back some. It just smells like a winter dream. Like a winter oasis. And you're like walking through, I don't know, Chronicles of Narnia. Or something like that. Like, it's just... It's a vibe. Um, I'm pretty sure we've seen one of these, but I think it was in a different packaging. So I'm gonna put it in the collection shelf just to be safe. Or wait, yeah, collection shelf and then, no, collection shelf is over here. Lord have mercy, I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get it together by the end of the video. <laughs> um, next up, we have Beach Bellini. And this one came out around Candle Day. What year? Um, Sterling, do you have to lick the chair? It's gross. It's gross. Yeah? Are you having an episode of Pika or something? Like, what's really good? They're y'all. They're a mess. This is this is why I get distracted all the time. Um, Peach Bellini, like. It kind of it, it kind of has that little like I'm gonna call it a rustic peach smell, <laughs> but it also has the um, you know like the little alcoholic jazzy jazz vibe. I don't know the packaging is like it's kind of cute, but I'm not I'm not super in love. So we're gonna go back up pal for this one, um, so she can so we can enjoy her and let her go. Um, oh, it's in the night. 
week. Okay, so, oh my God. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Okay, so it's in the night. It's like this patchouli, like grown lady doing her fine vibe. And I just, you know, or a grown gentleman or a grown person, you know. It just, it just does something to me. I don't know. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Okay, so if you go in store next time you go, just, just give it a sniff. You know, I can't remember if single wicks are out in this still. Probably not. But um, go spray the body mist on a little paper. You know, give it a little sniff, sniff, see what you like. I mean, this is like, this isn't fall right now because right now it's like, I think it's a high of 73 degrees here, so it's a little too hot. But like, catch me in November. Mm, catch me in November with this patchouli baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Let me let me simmer down. Anyways, collection shelf. <laughs> so good. Okay, another peach bellini. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, did I? Yeah, I think I showed you guys the packaging on Into the Night. It's it's plain. It's just um, a little label on the... A little label <laughs> on the front. I mean, I don't even know what there is to say about this. It is. It smells exactly like bacon. It's collection shelf. I just... Y'all, it was so wild when these limited releases came out. And specifically this one. Like, I applaud Bath & Body Works for, like, stepping outside the box. Because they stepped outside the box, outside the farm, outside the stratosphere. And decided to give us this baking candle first. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it, like, it just smells like someone poured bacon fat into a jar. Um, I have warmed one once, I believe. I think I have two, um, but I warmed it and I was just like, mm. yeah, they ain't got to worry about me warming it again. But like, I don't know. It's like one of those novelty items that you're like, oh, like, ooh. nothing to write home about though. But if you love bacon, then I'm sure it's great. But I don't know. I'm not a big bacon fan. <gasps> Into the stars. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your Baccarat Rouge 540. This is your Ariana Grande Cloud, um, Zara Red Temptation. Dare I say even a little bit of um, Burberry hair, like, it's just got that vibe. And whenever I wear this, it just compliments, um, well, whenever I wear the body care for In The Stars, it compliments galore. Like, dare I say, if you only have, oh no, okay. I'm gonna have to say, if you only have three cents, like from Bath and Body Works and Body Care, it would be In the Stars and Into the Night and Pure Wonder, cause I love that girl. Um, but like <laughs> Into the Night would be your nighttime, like wintry fragrance to wear. In the Stars would be your spring, summer, um, nighttime or daytime. And then Pure Wonder would just be year round. If you just need three, that's it. Plain and simple. Smelling good all year. Um, next up is, I just finished having like two cups of coffee, so don't mind me. Next up is pumpkin apple. Another beautiful tried and true. Um, comes out every fall. This packaging is so cute. But yeah, it just smells like... I don't know. To me, it smells like apples, but like apples with a little bit of pizzazz, like apples with a personality. Um, oh, and the little lid was so cute too. Um, this one is from, I believe it's from 2021. I, it's adorable, like collection shelf. Need I say more? Collection shelf. Um, oh, speaking of collection shelf, it's UNITY. Um, this was from the... <laughs> I am so foolish. I can't believe I just did that on camera. Um, but like every time I see this collection, that is the first thought that comes up in my head is that a song. Um, but this one was also from 2021 and it was um, the collection that they put out for Black History Month. Um, just, uh, this is, so this is Coconut Sandalwood. Um, it's just, 
I don't know, a great spring summery scent. Um, I picked it up for the packaging. I mean, you got rep your set, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was a lot of controversy over the design and if the design was stolen and all this kind of stuff. I'm not even going to get into that because who didn't do any research was yours truly. So as the people say, it, it's a hot mess. Um, <laughs> next up is pumpkin peanut brittle. So pumpkin peanut brittle, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I guess it's, I was going to say it's similar to the baking candle, but it's, it, it's not because more people enjoy um, peanut butter, but mm, it is to its namesake. I'm not even like a huge peanut butter lover, but this candle, powerhouse, amazing, warm it in the afternoon, like an hour to two hours is all you need in the, mm, the kitchen. Oh, it smells so good. Like delicious and y'all know i'm not a gourmand gal but when i tell you this pumpkin peanut brittle highly highly recommend um i believe that we've seen one of these already so i'm gonna put this in the backup pile if we haven't seen one let me know but i'm pretty sure we did um <laughs> pumpkin cinnamon bun um It smells like, I don't know, it just, it reminds me of the honey buns that um, come with the white icing and then they have the cinnamon like on it, drizzled on it. That's what it makes me think of. Like it's not Cinnabon, which I'm fine with, but I don't know, it's just a little vibe. Um, and I enjoy it, like, even though this packaging is kind of like, it's not basic Betty, but it's like plain Jane um well not plain jane well yeah plain jane um because it doesn't wrap all the way around but it has these cute little pumpkins on the top y'all know i'm a sucker for pumpkins um so we're gonna start our next pile for the collection shelf because i don't i don't remember seeing this one and i think it's cute i mean i just i love the pumpkins on the top so um let's see who's next who's next oh fresh fall morning I mean, this was a nice clean scent. Um, this one is currently in the wallflower um, in one of the bathrooms upstairs, but get nice, refreshing scent. Um, great for bathrooms. Great for when the weather's transitioning because it gives you like a scent, but it's not too much. Um, it's like kind of like a mix between a fresh and aquatic. And like, it's not, it's nothing to super right home about, but like, it's nice and fresh, exactly what you need. Um, this is citrus zest, woodland sage, and delicious, red delicious apples. I don't smell the apples, but it smells good. Period, poo. All right, so we're gonna put this one in the backup pile. And just in case you're curious, um, so like backup pile are ones that I'll easily take upstairs and like, warm them um and stuff and then like once the smell is out and gone then i will recycle them as in like recycle the jars um or yeah recycle the jars i was like or oh, what else will i do with the jars um and then the collection shelves are the ones that are going to go on like the fancy bookcase thing um that will hopefully set up one of these days coming soon probably like I don't know y'all, it might be Christmas time because when I tell you like, I don't know, it's something about like housing and getting house stuff done. It kind of takes a while. Um, flooring guys are supposed to come today um, to like, you know, like after you buy a house and then they give you the 60 days or whatever. And they're like, hey, if anything isn't looking right, let us know, we'll come fix it up. And so like people are coming um, now to, fix things up for us and then um hopefully we'll be able to find someone to do the um baseboards and then we can start building the collection shelf but until then we will be patiently waiting <laughs> um so next up is leaves and leaves again another tried and true um it's like a, a, if bath and body works had a signature scent it would be leaves i felt like Leaves for the fall, the per, mm, 
I don't know. I mean, Christmas is its own thing, but I feel like leaves is like their winter fragrance. Champagne toast is like their anybody can get it and be happy fragrance. Um, what other fragrances I feel like are? White gardenia is like your floral. Japanese cherry blossom is like your old school person. Um, cucumber melon is like for your person who, um, they're not really into scents, but like they want their bathroom or want something to smell good or like they have allergies um, to different scents. But like for some reason, cucumber melon like sneaks in there. Warm vanilla sugar, it likes to pop in and pop out. I'm not sure if they're offering it right now, but like that was like, warm, warm vanilla sugar was like the gateway drug into Bath & Body Works back in my millennial um, childhood. Um, and so, yeah, I just feel like leaves is like, the fall version um but be careful because leaves leaves is no joke like it's a powerhouse so burn burn carefully because honey leaves loves to cut up um so we're gonna even though the packaging is like super cute and the top is cute i'm gonna put it in the backup pile because i have plenty of leaves so no need in putting that one on the collection shelf, but who will be on the collection shelf is little lemon lavender shortbread. This one is so cute. I love lavender. I'm a fan of lemon. Um, so it's just a vibe. And this just smells like a fancy little picnic or like a fancy tea party and they have like the little um the little pastries and like little sandwiches and I want to call them crumpets because it's just I don't know it just fits like it's like Alice in Wonderland vibe um but this one came out oh this one came out in 21 also 21 21 um so <laughs> put this one collection shelf it's cute I feel like if it came out again I would probably buy another one full show oh Cereal and cartoons, <laughs> throwback. Oh, who else? Like, okay, yeah. Question of the day: Who, um, who else remembers getting up Saturday morning, one Saturday morning, um, and watching on ABC like all the cartoons and stuff? And then, like, like who else would get up and have cereal and be watching all the cartoons Saturday morning? because I did and then y'all like I would love the Power Rangers but then part of me would be so upset because I know once the Power Rangers come on like that was it there were no more cartoons like for the day you had to go outside play with your Game Boy or like I don't know like it, it was over and I'd be like no like I'd be so excited to see the pink Power Ranger but then like wow really tough you sad because you didn't see the Power Rangers? Sorry, bud. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Who else watched? Um, oh, you guys, do you remember Recess? Like, oh, such a good show. Um, anyways, let me jump back into reality out of my <laughs> nostalgic memories. Um, this smells like, it's just cinnamon. It just smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And like, ah, it brings back so many memories. I love it. If somebody asked me today, like, what is your all-time favorite um, cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch, absolutely. Now, if one of my doctors asks, it's probably gonna be like Honey Nut Cheerios or Raisin Bran Crunch, but between us, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, hands down. Um, <laughs> next up is Salted Ocean Air. Now, Salted Ocean Air, I feel like she, you know, I, she smells good to me. And I warmed it in the bathroom and maybe it's because I warmed it in a small space, but she be out here getting hate from the folks cause they be like, um, I can't smell anything. It just smells like, you know, a little salt in the air, but that's what it's supposed to do. Like, hey bud. Yeah, you wanna smell salted air? Is that why you're crying? Hmm? Come on. You want to stay up here? You want block Winnie? You said Winnie gets no air time today. Oh my God, what's her up? Oh my God, are y'all okay? All right, um, we'll be back. <laughs> Lord, are you okay? All right, we're back. Everyone seems to be okay. We've regrouped, gotten ourselves together. We've cleaned up. 
Do you want to smell Salty Ocean Air? No. Nope. But it smells good. Nope, he's not a fan. Excuse us, you probably like fruity scents, don't you? You're one of them. <laughs> but, um, you know, I don't know. Like, for me, the nice um, aromatherapy scents, like, I feel like they're nice to be able to have, um, especially when you have company over and you're not really sure, like, are they into scents or is it better to play it safe and, like, not have anything too loud and powerful? But it's just a pretty aquatic scent. Beautiful. Now, would it be nice if they made like another version that was a little bit more of a heavy hitter? Sure, but I don't know. Call me crazy, but I really enjoy salted ocean air. Um, let's see what's up next. All right, next we have toasted coconut eclair. Yeah, you can't smell this one because chocolate's not good for you. Chocolate's not good for the baby. Um, this one smells like Almond Joy. Um, we've talked about this one in a previous episode, so back up how it goes. Um, next up, we have Market Peach and Strawberry Pound Cake. And this was like an interesting blend. Like, you have the sweetness of the Strawberry Pound Cake, and then you have the peach and, like... I don't know, the fruitiness is there, but it's enough of the cake that it like kind of draws back the like tart fruit vibe for me. But nevertheless, I'm gonna put it in the collection section. Um, I really enjoyed the blends that they created. Um, I don't know, it was just a vibe. It, you know, it was like, it was something new. It, I, I enjoyed it, um, but we'll see if they bring it back. Um, here is Cozy Linen Nectarine. Mmm. This one's beautiful. Like, this one's perfect for February, March, April, when, like, it's winter, but, like, spring is, like, hey! But it's not, like, all the way here yet, but, like, you're in that, you're getting piped up in that mode for, like, spring cleaning. Then this one's, this one's it. Um, and it was part of the Neutral Collection. Beautiful candle, um, mm, just absolutely beautiful. I loved putting this one under a candle warmer like for hours and just letting her go. Um, I don't believe we've come across this one just yet, so I'm gonna put one in the collection shelf for now. All right, Topsy. Yeah, are you keeping track of the backup pile? You're doing such a good job. Yes. Wait, are you okay back there? You chilling? All right. Um, next up, oh, Paris Cafe. Oh my gosh, you guys. I looked like that because I looked at the next five candles. Paris Cafe. So let me tell you a quick story. This came out in 2021. It was candle day. And people had talked about Paris Cafe. I personally, like, I hadn't really been checking for it all that time. And... I came across it. I'm a coffee lover, like every day, well, every day, if I remember, I have my little Cafe Bustelo uh, coffee every day. That's right. Because who, like nothing against Folgers, Maxwell and Keurig and all of them, them peeps, but like Cafe Bustelo is, is for me. Love it. Absolutely. Um, and so like, when I smell this, and yes, I'm getting ready to smell all six of these because it's just a vibe, okay? For coffee lovers, like Paris Cafe, it's a vibe. And it's something about like this packaging because it's just this beautiful, um, like brown, like just, oh, mm, it just, I don't know. It just does something to me. I, I can't explain it. Um, but yeah, that's, it's, it's just. Oh, oh my gosh, it's, it's just, it's such a vibe and it's so strong, y'all. Like I remember I bought like so many of these. So we're seeing six right now. Um, I picked up so many of these, is there so many here? Oh no, um, picked up so many of these and then they were like sitting in my car cause you know, it was December. I'm like, oh, who ain't got time to be going back and forth uh, carrying heavy stuff out of the car is me so I would like wait until the next day because y'all know I was up 
at like five something in the morning um, at the stores when they open. And <laughs> then I would be out like all day. Okay. It was a shopping marathon. Um, and so like, mm, so when I got home, it was dark. It was probably like 11 or 12 because y'all know when Christmas time comes, um, the stores will stay open late for the holidays, which I love. So that means it's even more time to shop. Um, so yeah, I would just like leave stuff in the car and be like, I get it the next day, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna switch out these lids cause this lid, it has a little bit of a sticky residue cause I was putting post-it notes on the top of the candle so I would be able to see which one it is. But this baby, Rock Cheer, will be going to the collection shelf. Um, I might do that again, maybe. Cause I feel like just putting this on here, like I took a post-it note, cut it in half and put it on the top because it's easier to identify like what's in here, you know, from the top, from the lid. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. But that's six of them um, and there's more, but we just haven't found them yet. Um, <laughs> so here's another Black Cherry Merlot. It's cute. I mean, it's a vibe. It's a nice pretty vibe. I feel like it's good for like spring to summer, like that transition when it's starting to get warmer, but it's not like full blown summer yet. And like from summer to fall, like in between those two seasons is a perfect time. I feel like it can go further into fall or maybe around Thanksgiving, but you know, hey, you burn whatever you want to, when you want to, how you want to. Just make sure you cut the wicks and don't don't make a sooty mess. Other than that, you do whatever you want to do, boo. I support you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. The packaging though isn't giving me life, so we're gonna put it in the backup, backup burn pile. It can we we gonna use it, we gonna enjoy it and let it do what it do and get on and get from out of here. Um, <laughs> next up is fresh cut lilacs. Oh my gosh. Part of me is almost afraid to even open this thing. Y'all, what I tell you? Fresh cut lilacs is not one to play with, okay? Fresh cut, I like, I feel like when I tell y'all fresh cut lilacs, like, fresh cut lilacs is that, mm, serious. Okay, Easter, just Easter. Happy Easters, yeah? What do you think? Does it smell like outside? Does it smell like flowers? Do you like flowers, baby? Toxie, Toxie likes fresh cut lilacs. Fresh cut lilacs is another staple. Uh, this is another uh, basic white barn Betty, but she's still cute. She's got the little lilac going on. She's a vibe. Um, but like this one, if you know anyone who loves flowers and loves the spring, this candle, however, if they're sensitive to um, scents and fragrances, then it's a no. Because when I tell you this girl is strong, th like between, I feel like it would be so wild. I can never do it. But like the idea of having all the heavy hitters together in like a competition and seeing who would win the battle, you would have to put Fresh Cut Lilacs, Mahogany Teakwood, Paris Cafe, Fresh Bamboo. Who else, Jaxi? Who else is a heavy hitter? Um, sun drenched linen. Tuxi, who else? And leaves. Put all of them in a room and like see like which scent is the one that's gonna take it all. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even imagine walking into that room. Like it would just be so overwhelming. Yikes! All right, let's try to finish this up, baby. Um, another turquoise waters. Uh, it's so cute with the little um, the little label with the little whales, adorbs. Um, again, like a beautiful tried and true scent. Love this one for the summer, and therefore it's a backup pile. Backup pile, baby. I don't know, because the packaging is okay, but I'm not in love. But that white and blue one that's kind of like, it's not ombre, more like a tie-dye, but like not tie-dye vibe. Love that packaging. And here's another pumpkin apple. Yeah. So beautiful. Um, I think we put one in the collection section, so this one go in our backup pile. And let's see. Two more, y'all. Only two more to go. We've got 
passion fruit banana flower. I don't know, like I don't have anything against this one. I think it's a nice like tropical scent, especially for me being someone who's not huge in the tropical fruity vibes. But I don't know, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the packaging is cute, but you know, I'm trying to be better, do better. So I'm gonna put it in the backup pile so we can enjoy it this coming spring, summer. Um, let her live her best life. And last but not least, Lakeside Morning, also one that is in one of the bathrooms upstairs. Mm. Yes, like this is just an amazing scent to wake up to in the fall or in the spring. Just beautiful, just beautiful. Um, yeah, it's just a vibe. It's such a vibe. It's like clean and aquatic, and it's just like a great balance in between. Um, Lakeside Morning, if you like Lakeside Morning, I would suggest picking it up soon because it's weird. It's like it'll be out during the fall, and then it just disappears. It just goes away. Um, and some of their scents, like their, like this one also comes in the White Barn um, Basic Betty Plain Packaging. Um, but this one came out for candle day. So it'll like, sometimes it comes out around then, but like then if you go looking for it in the spring and summer, then it just randomly disappears. So like, if you want to try it, if you see it, I suggest you pick it up. Um, Cause it'll be off season and then you're like, what the heck, like, where is it at? But this one's going in the backup pile so we can enjoy it. And that is it for today's episode of Kendall Chronicles. <gasps> I think today was episode 13 on Vlogtober day 13. And oh, what a wild coincidence. It's crazy, right, Tuxi? Well, it is Friday, AKA Fri-yay. Um, so we are going to finish working on the storage so that when lunchtime comes, we can enjoy ourselves, maybe have a little cocktail or a mocktail and enjoy our weekend. Um, I hope that you all have exciting plans. I hope that everyone at work is able to leave early because there's nothing else for them to do at work for today, not because anything, yeah, we're not even gonna say it, but like hope that there's a pleasant reason why um, people are able to get off early, start their weekend early, live their best lives and enjoy the weekend um, and work on Halloween decorations. We actually, um, we're almost finished. So I might do a little preview. The only thing I'm waiting on are pom-poms. So if that gives you any indications, you know, if you want to take a wild guess of what we have going on for our Halloween decorations, feel free to put it down below. Um, but yes, one of these days for Vlogtober, we're going to show you guys the outdoor decorations. But as you all know, um, I'm a Capricorn. I'm one of those little weird perfectionists. And so I'm like, I can't show my people. I can't show my friends. Like, my stuff half done, I gotta give it to them, like the full presentation with all the details. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to grow out of it, but it's a process. Um, but anyhow, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, apologies, we had so many cuts in the video from all the interruptions. But everyone seems to be doing okay. Everyone's holding their breakfast together. So hopefully we'll have a good day. You guys have a good day too. And we will catch you in the next video. Bye. Can you say bye? You don't want to say bye? Wow. You just want to tell me you're the king of the patch? I'm the king of the